So I'm going to show you how to take away the scratches and the redness that are in the newborn's face when uh, you do your newborn shoot. And to do that, we need to start with my beautiful niece, Emma. So you, uh, my original photo looked like this, so I touched it up a little bit for exposure, added some contrast, um, made sure that everything looked perfect. And from here, I bridge it over to Photoshop. I was already working on it. It's reopening. There we go. <clears throat> so here you come over and you choose your healing brush tool, which is the little band-aid. And you zoom in as much as you can. Change your brush size so it's just bigger than the blemish. And then, and then click. It's easy as that. And then once you feel you've gotten all of the little spot blemishes. That one. Um, you come and choose your patch tool and you just draw around the other ones and drag it over and you can remove all these little flakies. Um, you can leave some, you don't have to remove them all, it's a personal preference. Sometimes you get families that want to leave some of those blemishes because that's the way the baby is and that's completely fine too. Um, it all depends on what you feel like the photo needs and what the family prefers for the photo. So once you're done removing all the scratches or as much as you'd like to remove, you remove the redness. And it just, there's a couple more here that I need to get. And you don't have to be overly exact with this tool which is really the beauty of it. Um, you just want to be careful that you don't drag an area like this over because it ends up with a very unnatural result. So you get something that looks like this and I just want to get one more. Didn't choose the wrong one. Okay, so once you've got the whole face done, or as much as you'd like to do with the face, you want to remove this redness here. So you come over to your adjustments and you want to up, you want to up just a tiny, tiny bit, and then choose green because that's what's going to suck the magenta out of the photo. So you don't want too much, but you don't want it so that the red remains. So I think. But there should be okay. Now don't worry that it changes everything green. You're going to go back to your layer and choose it and invert that level. Um, on my Mac it's Command I. And then you choose your brush tool at about a 60% opacity and you just go and paint over all the red areas. And you don't have to be too exact with this either. You just want anywhere there's too much redness for your liking. They get a lot of it in their eyebrows and on their upper lip, the magenta there. And then, okay. and then when you, don't forget the body, you don't want to leave redness in the body. And then when you feel you've gotten all of the magenta out, you can turn off this little eye that turns off the layer and you can see where you've sucked all the red out of the baby's skin. And then from here, you can go back if you need to. Let me show you where a few more patches are that you need to get rid of. And there, once you're done, you can uh, zoom back out. But the closer you are on a baby, the better. But you zoom back out and there's your photo, original and after you take the red out. It's as easy as that. So tune back for some more tutorials and uh, thank you for watching, I hope it helped.